So, this is Microsoft Expression Design. It's a wonderful editing program for editing images and also for creating graphics. It takes a bit of work, but it's worth it. I'll take you through the basics of doing two things. One, adding text and turning it into a picture and how to edit a picture. So we open it up and we go to File and New. Give it a name. Tutorial. Now the presets are the size of your picture. You see they've got presets here. That's 800 by 600, which is a standard size for anything. Its width is 800 pixels, and its height is 600 pixels, and it's got a resolution of 96. Don't worry about that for the moment. And you click on OK, and there you have your inner square box is where you put the text. So down the left hand side, we have these various menus, menu that you can choose. I don't use all of them and some of them I still don't know. But uh, what we want to do is to put in text. And you see on the right hand side, we've got a color palette. Don't worry about stroke or width or pixel opacity, don't worry about. Text, this is where you've got a list of all your fonts. And we'll choose one I like, which is a cursive font called Lunar Bar. That's under L, if I can remember my alphabet, there it is, Lunar Bar. And it's bold, italic. Uh, we want regular, which is what it is. And that's the size. 16 point is average. 48 point is huge. So we'll make it 16 point. And we go to next and we click in the box. And we type happy birthday. That's too small. We want it bigger than that. So if we put our mouse, you see how the mouse changes from there to there. We highlight all the text. And we'll make it 48 so we can see it. There it is. See the arrow here? This is the selection. So we click on it and we can drag with our mouse button and put it in. You see you have these sizing handles. So I can go up, go down, go longer. there we have our image. If we change the font, see, so we can size it, there, happy birthday. Choose a font that uh, you can read. I mean, Lunar Bar, it's all right, but it, well, that's all right. Move it back in. Happy birthday, that looks smart. Now, I'll show you how to do a rectangle. You click on the rectangle tool, and we click on the rectangle, 
and we position our mouse in the corner. And there we have a black box. See we have a range here, a range, order, send to back. There it sends to back. <laughs> Made a, a mistake. Oh, silly Philip. Arrange, order, bring to front, start again. Don't worry about starting again. Um, we might want to change the colour of our text. So here we have our color palette. Make it red, yellow, yellow. Oops. Here you have a sliding bar that uh, you can use. There's some fun things in this. I'll show you. I'll show you to them. It's they're really so much fun. So there we have our yellow text. Then we go to rectangle, rectangle, go to the corner, drag, hold your left mouse button down and drag it. Arrange, order, center back. Now we have our happy birthday on a flat black square. We can click on our box, go into the selection tool, and drag it up. So we have our happy birthday in a nice black square. That looks pretty good. Now, in order to save that, we have to export it. But we want to export the whole thing, not just the black square. If you go to File and Export, it just shows the black square. Don't forget, you can do stuff, and you can always cancel it. And if we clicked on Happy Birthday, and went to File and Export, we just have Happy Birthday. So what we want to do is to choose both of them. And we do that by clicking on our text and then holding the shift key down, click on the box. See there's a red line underneath birthday. And if we go to file and export, there we have our whole image. Now, PNG is... I've forgotten what it stands for. Never mind. PNG is a good quality image. And that's the size of it, 800 by 354. Here we have the file name, which is tutorial.png, which we put in. And I'm going to save it in Expression Design. If you're not sure where to save it, go to Browse. and choose up here where you want to save it. See there's a pictures folder. Click it. And you can save it in your pictures folder. I will, I'll save it. Well, no I won't. Um, once you get used to it, well, yes I will. Sorry. I'll save it in the pictures folder. Save. And then you go to export all. And we'll minimize that. Go to our WordPress block.
Sorry, just a sec. I'll just get this so you can read it. I'll just sit in the dot wordpress.com WP admin. Posts. With this goes in pages. So we go to all pages. Useful programs. There's draft because I'm working on it. Edit. There's my Microsoft Expression Design. Add media. Upload files. Select files. Pictures. And there we have tutorial.png. Over here. We have the URL title is tutorial expression design captions expression design. size insert into page and there we have it so that's it we've gone from here and we've gone to file and export and tutorial.png browse in users pictures that's it Okay, I'll pause there.